Now, design a multi-tape Turing machine for checking whether a binary string is a palindrome or not. Now, we are going to use a multi-tape Turing machine to check whether the given string is palindrome or not. Now, let us assume we are going to use two tape Turing machine. So, first tape you will place the string. So, let us assume we have a string 10110 and a blank. And you also have, you have a header here. You have one more tape which is all blank initially and the header is pointing to the first cell. So, what logic we are going to use? We have two tapes now. So, you copy the contents of the first tape in the second tape. Okay. So, while copying, you have to traverse one by one. So, when there is a zero, you copy that zero. Now, when a one comes, you copy that one. And again, a one comes, you copy the one in the second tape. Now, zero comes, you copy that zero in the second tape. And a blank comes, so you stop. Now, both the tapes are having the same contents. What next we need to do? Now, if one string, what is the palindrome string? When, it, when we read the string both from the front and from the back, it should be the same. So, we will make one of the header to point to the first symbol and the other header to point to the next symbol. Now, if we have a two-way tape, we can use a two-way tape. We can make this a header now after copying again to traverse to the extreme left and make it move towards the move towards the extreme left hand side blank and we can make make one of the tape that is the second tape to point to the extreme right hand side now every time we traverse one step right here and one step left here it if it is a zero it has to be zero if it is a one it has to be one Likewise, if we come tra traverse all the string in one tape from right to left, left to right, and another tape from right to left, and if the same symbols are coming, then we can justify that. We we can verify that it is a palindrome string. So this is the logic we are going to use for multi-tape Turing machine. But so far we have used only single tape Turing machine, in which we have been explaining only the tape contents of how the tape contents are changed in one tape but here we have two tapes say for example this is t1 and this is going to be our t2 so for every transition you have to tell what happens in tape 1 and what happens in tape 2 now let me try to give this one so initially you are in state q0 the first step is you need to copy the contents of tape 1 to tape 2 that's what we are doing so in tape 1, if 0 comes, replace that with 0, move towards right. Simultaneously, when 0 is coming in tape 1, whatever is there in blank, you have to replace with 0 and move towards right. This is the action you need to perform for tape 2. Again, in tape 1, if 1 comes, you replace that with 1, move towards right. But in tape 2, that blank has to be replaced with 1 and move towards right. Now, by doing so, we are copying all the contents in tape 1, in tape 2. Again, in tape 1, if 1 comes, you are copying in tape 2. Now, if this happens, we will reach blank, right? In tape 1, blank comes, you replace that with blank and move towards the left. In tape 2, if blank comes, you replace that with blank and don't do any operation. So, let it be H, okay? Let it be dash okay h is halt okay we will differentiate h with no operation with just a dash so we have made a t2 header to point to the last symbol that is blank here now we have to traverse from this blank we need to traverse tape 1 to the extreme left hand side blank okay so for that we will make a self loop in which for t1 if 0 comes, replace that with 0, move towards left. We need to simultaneously add the action for tape 2 also. Whereas in tape 2, it will be pointing only to blank with no operation. Likewise, in tape 1, if 1 comes, replace that with 1, move towards left. But tape 2, we should not perform any operation. 
by by doing so we have made the pointer now to come and point to the extreme left hand side now my tape 1 is pointing to left hand side extreme left and tape 2 is pointing to the extreme right hand side blank now we need to check the condition now if this is the case so in tape 1 if blank comes replace that with blank move towards right whereas in tape 2 replace that with blank and move towards the left hand side so you are moving one step left and one step right here here this is the matching process so in t1 tape 1 if 0 comes replace that with blank move towards right hand side in tape 2 only the same 0 should come right now if 0 comes see this tape 2 contents we have made a copy just for verification so after verification we can again reset this tape 2 contents to blank okay so if 0 comes replace that with blank move towards the left hand side again if 1 comes replace that with 1 move towards right t2 la if 1 comes replace that with blank and move towards left hand side by doing these two process continuously we will be verifying and this verification can halt if t1 ends with a blank and halt in the extreme right hand side and t2 ends with a blank and halt in the extreme left hand side so this is the answer for a multi tape specifically a two tape turing machine to for checking a binary string is palindrome or not it's very easy right thank you